together. Okay, hopefully you tried this on your own. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is draw my river. I'm going to now label my sides. I have the variable side, and I have my constant side, okay? Now that we've done that, the first step that we have to do on the left side, variable side, we have to distribute. So the negative, remember there's an imaginary one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and label both sides. There's an imaginary one. So we have to take this negative one and we have to distribute it out. Let's go ahead and start with the signs. I have a negative times a positive, which is gonna give me a negative. One times eight is gonna give me eight. And now let's do it again. Negative times a positive is gonna give me a negative. Remember, if you need to remember the triangle, plus minus minus, I have a positive divided times a negative, which is gonna give me a negative answer. Negative times positive gives me a negative. One times x is just gonna give me x is equal to, and again, we have to distribute on the right side. I have negative one times a positive, so that's gonna give me a negative. One times eight is eight. Now here I have a negative times a negative, which is gonna give me a positive. One times seven x gives me positive seven x. Now that I've gotten to this point, we now need to combine our white terms. So step two, combining our white terms. So we're gonna look at the left side. I have a variable here. Now on the right side, I have a variable on the right. Remember when you're boxing, you wanna box the sign. Here it's important, negative x, and you have a positive x on the right. And now we gotta go through and circle our constants. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to now move this over. So let's go ahead and move our variables from left to right. So I'm showing you that we can go any way first. So inverse, we're gonna move our variables. I have positive seven X. Now I'm going to get the inverse operation of that is negative seven X. That's gonna give me zero, these cancel. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Remember, variables can only go with variables. So I have a negative minus a negative, which means you're just adding the two. One plus seven is gonna give me a negative eight X. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring down the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna have a negative eight minus eight and then equals. So now what I have to do is combine my constants. I have negative eights, so I need to add eight here. Remember what we do to one side, we're utilizing the inverse operation, inverse. I'm subtracting by eight, so I have to add eight to cancel that out. What you do to one side, you do it to the other. Okay, so here we are noticing that we cancel these out. This equals zero. Okay. Negative eight plus eight is gonna give me zero. And now I just bring down my constants. We are not done here, okay? We are definitely not done here. We still need to get our variable by itself. Remember our goal, the variable by itself. If I have negative eight here times x, my inverse operation, remember we're going across the equal sign, my inverse operation is to divide by eight. Remember that's our last step. Divorce, divide, so we are divorcing and dividing. Divide by negative eight, divide by negative eight, x is gonna equal zero divided by negative eight is just going to give us zero. So x is equal to zero. Zero is an answer. Just to remind you, zero is an answer. 